Hello, it's the Singapore International Cyber Week and one key message that rang loud and clear that cybersecurity is an issue of national importance. Speaking at the opening of the inaugural Cyber Week, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong launched the Singapore Cybersecurity Strategy aimed at creating a resilient and trusted cyber environment as Singapore moves towards becoming a smart nation. But to be a smart nation, we must also be a safe cyber nation. The potential of ICT and digital technologies depends on how much we can trust the internet and cyberspace. And we've got to get cybersecurity right to capture the benefits of a more connected world. He outlined the four pillars in the strategy, strengthening the country's critical infrastructure, mobilising businesses and the community to make cyberspace safer, developing a vibrant cybersecurity ecosystem comprising a skilled workforce and technologically advanced companies, and last but not least, stepping up efforts to forge strong international partnerships as cyber threats has no boundaries. The latest moves comes in the wake of a growing number of cyber crimes. Did you know that in Singapore alone, the number of e-commerce and online scams has doubled from some 2,000 cases in 2014 to almost 4,000 cases in 2015? To avoid becoming a statistic, here are two tips for a safer online presence. First, be vigilant at all times and exercise caution when opening suspicious emails and attachments. When in doubt, check with the sender if they had indeed sent the email before opening it. Second, learn how to spot a fake government website, of which the number has been growing over the past few years. Look at the URL. Only government websites can use domain names ending with .gov. Many fake government websites use .org or .net. You can also check if the website is secure by looking for a lock symbol in the browser window. Do not enter payment information on any site that isn't secure. So don't fall prey to cyber scams. You can find more information on being safe online at this website.